some of the most beautiful creations of nature are the butterflies that fly from one flower to another. They are so beautiful that they attract your attention every time. But you will be surprised to know that these pretty looking creatures are not the same when they are born. Astonishingly, when they are newly hatched, they just look like any other insect or simply like a worm. Only after a few days, their body forms this beautiful structure. So are we saying that the newly born butterfly larvae don't look similar to the adult butterfly? Absolutely! The change is quite drastic. But do we find such drastic changes in human beings? No, we don't. Though our looks might change, the basic structure won't. There are a few organisms like this butterfly that exhibit a phenomenon called the metamorphosis. Now, what exactly is this process? Well, let us understand this by splitting the word. Here, meta stands for change and morph means form that is the physical form. So, can we say that metamorphosis is the process in which an organism undergoes change in the physical form as a part of a development? Yes. So, do humans go through the process of metamorphism? Absolutely not. The organs with which we are born only grow in size, but they do not change as we grow old. Thus, humans do not undergo metamorphosis. Which organisms do we consider for studying this process? Just like the butterflies, we have the silkworms that undergo metamorphosis. Similarly, in higher animals, Frogs and salamanders also exhibit the same process. Let's take the simplest example of frogs to understand it. What will be the first step to study this? Of course, the process of fertilization. And do you remember which type of fertilization is found in them? Yes, it's an external fertilization. So the unfertilized eggs, when laid in water, will get fertilized by the sperms. The resulting embryos will all stay together in a collective bundle that is held together by a jelly-like fluid. The next stage is where the embryos develop into these tiny structures having a small tail. Can you guess what these structures are called? I'm sure you must have heard of them. The tadpoles. Yes, they are called the tadpoles. However, these tadpoles do not keep swimming in the water. They remain attached to some support like a nearby plant body in the water. A few days later, these tadpoles grow. And this results in structures like external gills and then the hind legs appear. Gradually, even the forelimbs, that is the front legs appear and the length of the tail keeps reducing. After a couple of days, the tadpole transforms into a completely different structure. Yes, it turns into a frog. But why did we say a different structure? Because if you compare the two, you will notice remarkable differences in them. And this is exactly what metamorphosis is all about. It defines the changes in the physical forms of the organisms during their development. This is how quite a few organisms change from their young to adult stage due to metamorphosis.